Angelina Jolie has had multiple whirlwind relationships, and oddly enough, she's still friends with the two exes she traded blood with. Maybe Brad Pitt should have offered up a vial. Before she was a household name, Angelina Jolie was an aspiring actor trying to break out of her father's shadow. She was already pushing boundaries when she wrapped work on the 1995 cult thriller called Hackers. It was on that film set that she first met Johnny Lee Miller. I'm Crash Override. You're the moron that's been invading my turf? A whirlwind romance ensued and they tied the knot in March 1996. Their wedding was anything but traditional. It only had two guests, and the bride wore black rubber pants with a t-shirt that had Miller's name written on it in her blood. Explaining the choice, she told the New York Times, It's your husband. You can sacrifice a little to make it really special. Unfortunately, having to sacrifice for her hubby ultimately proved to be too much for Jolie. During a press event promoting hackers, she found journalists were more interested in her nuptials than her work, and she was not impressed. She told the New York Times, It was weird to immediately be married and then you kind of lose your identity. You're like, oh, I'm half of a couple now. I've lost me. I was thinking, I need to get myself back. Ultimately, the couple decided to call it quits in September 1997 after just 18 months of marriage. However, despite all the issues, Jolie put all of the blame on herself. Speaking with the Calgary Sun, she admitted she wasn't present enough for the union to work, saying, He deserves more than I am prepared to give at this time in my life. All you love is like, is like war. It's easy to start but really hard to finish. Despite their whirlwind romance, Jolie and Miller shared a genuine connection, one that has lasted decades. After their divorce was finalized in 1999, they kept in touch and their friendship strengthened. Jolie dubbed her ex a solid man and a solid friend in 2003. And even proclaimed in 2004, divorcing Johnny was probably the dumbest thing I've ever done. While their romance never quite rekindled, they've spent plenty of time together since their split. In 2005, they had dinner together in London. And in 2011, he supported her directorial debut at the premiere of In the Land of Blood and Honey. In 2021, she even brought her kids to meet her first ex-husband. First, Jolie was spotted by paparazzi stopping by Miller's New York City apartment for a few hours. Then she visited him again with her son Pax, and Knox came along as well because he's reportedly friends with Johnny's son, Buster. A few months later, the friendly exes grabbed dinner again, this time in Beverly Hills. Just as her divorce from Johnny Lee Miller was being finalized, Angelina Jolie met her future husband on yet another film set. While shooting Pushington, Jolie fell in love with Billy Bob Thornton, who got engaged to Laura Dern a short time later. He abruptly called that off and he and Jolie went to Las Vegas to elope in 2000. Not surprisingly, their nuptials were tabloid gold, and the couple continued to feed the press with their over-the-top antics. Who could ever forget them wearing vials of each other's blood? We kind of signed our life away to each other, and uh, legally, and with blood. Jump to 2002 when Jolie adopted her son Maddox and everything appeared to be going well. Until it wasn't. Jolie and Thornton surprised fans when they filed for divorce later that year. And it seemed they surprised themselves too. As Jolie told Vanity Fair in 2005, they slowly and imperceptibly drifted apart until it was too late. While he was focused on writing music and touring, she developed a newfound passion working with the United Nations High Commissioner for Refugees. She explained, In a year, I became who I am today, very much, and he became who he is today. And it was just totally different paths in life. Then we just looked at each other one day and we had nothing to say to each other. Thornton agreed in a 2018 interview, saying, We just had different lifestyles. Hers is a global lifestyle and mine is an agoraphobic lifestyle. Thornton and Jolie's divorce was finalized in May 2003, and a year later, Thornton appeared to have had time to reflect on the split and put much of the blame on himself. Speaking candidly with NBC News in 2004, he admitted, Angie was the only person that I ever had a chance with, and I screwed that up. Shutting down rumors that he'd cheated on Jolie, Thornton said the divorce was completely his fault, but not because he had been unfaithful. He explained, I was afraid of her. She was too beautiful for me. She was too smart for me. She had too much integrity for me. I felt so small next to her. Thornton shared a similar sentiment with GQ years later, explaining to the outlet in 2016 that he'd never felt good enough for her. It's unclear if Jolie would agree with those statements, however. She told Vanity Fair in 2005 that Thornton was indeed driven away from her, but not because of her beauty or smarts. Rather, she said it was Maddox's adoption that frightened him. He sort of adopted me in a lot of ways, so we've already had one adoption. 
We may never know the real reason they split, but whatever drama happened between them is clearly in the past. It's true that following their divorce, Jolie covered up her Thornton tattoo with a tribute to her kids, and he replaced her name with an angel, but they never erased their friendship. While it took a bit of time for them to rebuild, Thornton told NBC News in 2004 that they were friends once again and that he was even spending time with Maddox. The ex-married couple has only grown closer over the years. Lynch and I are great friends. We always have been, and, and we talk on a pretty regular basis. Speaking with Us Weekly in 2019, Thornton said that while it's hard to make time to see each other in person, they talk regularly. But perhaps the biggest sign of their everlasting connection is the fact that Jolie still has a soft spot for Thornton's son Harry, who was born prior to their union. In 2022, Harry revealed to E.T., to this day, she still sends me Christmas gifts every year. Brad Pitt and Angelina Jolie's romance started and ended with headlines. The pair were first linked on the set of 2005's Mr. and Mrs. Smith, while he was still married to Jennifer Aniston. Soon, infidelity rumors became rampant, but Jolie was adamant that their romance was never as salacious as the tabloids reported. She said in 2006, I think we found this strange friendship and partnership that kind of just suddenly happened. So it speaks, but does it dance? Ultimately, Pitt and Aniston divorced in 2005, and he and Jolie went public soon after. They married in 2014 and shared six children together before filing for divorce in 2016, just days after Pitt was reportedly abusive towards his wife and kids. As TMZ learned, Pitt was allegedly intoxicated during a flight on a private jet when he reportedly became belligerent towards Jolie and their children. Both the LAPD and LA County Department of Children and Family Services investigated, but Pitt, who later admitted to yelling at Maddox, was cleared of all abuse allegations. The split that followed was equally dramatic and made just as many headlines. First, the exes couldn't agree on custody and went back and forth until 2021, when Pitt received the joint custody he had wanted. Jolie, who previously accused her ex of failing to pay child support, appealed the decision. She also filed court documents that year, alleging she had proof of ongoing domestic abuse. While the actors became legally single in 2019, as of June 2024, they still weren't divorced. As if Brad Pitt and Angelina Jolie's divorce wasn't messy enough, the pair also entered into a years-long legal battle over their French winery, Miraval, in 2022. They first bought shares in the Chateau and Vineyard in 2008, and according to Pitt, decided they wouldn't sell without the other's permission after they divorced. Well, Jolie didn't abide by that plan when she offloaded her portion in 2021, sparking a 2022 lawsuit from Pitt, who said he wasn't notified of the sale. In the lawsuit, he also claimed that his ex chose to sell to an aggressive third-party competitor on purpose in order to see him lose his own share of the business. In 2022, Jolie clapped back by filing her own documents in which she said she did in fact offer to sell to Pitt, but he asked her to sign an NDA in return, and the deal fell through. In 2023, Pitt filed more court documents, saying that Jolie's decision was made vindictively as retaliation for their ongoing custody battle. The case was still dragging on in April 2024, when Jolie filed a new countersuit reiterating her NDA claims and going even further to allege that Pitt had been physically abusive for years. Unlike her other amicable splits, Jolie's divorce from Brad Pitt has been anything but easy. The pair's legal battle has dragged on in various courts for years, and making matters worse, it seems their kids are caught in the middle, and they're picking sides. Speaking with OK in 2022, an insider alleged that Maddox, Pax, and Zahara are on Team Angelina, and the Daily Mail discovered that a 16-year-old Pax celebrated Father's Day 2020 with a secret Instagram post in which he ripped into Pitt, calling him a, quote, world-class ass <laughs> What's more, Brad Pitt's relationship with daughter Zahara appeared strained as she dropped his last name, and he was nowhere to be found as she went off to college. Pitt was dealt another blow in 2024 when Vivian stopped using his last name publicly and again when Shiloh filed to permanently drop Pitt from her moniker on her 18th birthday.